Welcome back, friends. I am Jason Salyer. And in our nation's beginning, there was a group of individuals known as the Minutemen. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they made up a pretty big portion of our um, our forces at the time. But I, like, I think about 25%, about a quarter of our military um, was made up of militiamen. And um, they were known for being ready to go at a minute's notice, hence the name Minuteman. And I have taken it upon myself to become that Minuteman. And I'm loading a magazine here, but that's not necessarily exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, it could be, I guess, but that's not primarily what I'm talking about. You know what's funny is everybody's got their get home bags or bug out bags and and their theories on what should go in them and that kind of stuff. And a guy sent me a, a link to a video the other day and it was the contents of his get home bag. And then he went on to explain that he works three miles from home. <laughs> he was showing all the stuff that he's got in his pack to enable him to get home safely. You live three miles from home. Um, if you walk slowly, you'll be there in an hour. You don't even need a bottle of water. You're not even going to get thirsty. <laughs> so, this is this is this is not a bug out bag. I'm not bugging out anywhere if I can help it. You know, I've got family, um, and we we are where we're at, and we're gonna we're gonna stay here. This I'm not bugging out. I, I'm gonna have to get home maybe, but and I do work a significant distance from home a lot of time. I, I mean, on a regular. I might be 40 miles from home and that's, you know, on a regular daily basis. Um, so I may need some supplies to get myself home, but that's not what we're talking about. What this is, this is uh, when we're talking about the minute man, we're talking about being ready at a minute's notice. Um, I want to have everything in this bag that's going to allow me to take care not only of myself, but somebody else in need. Um, and this bag will allow me to do that. The stuff inside of it and the skills that I possess will allow me to do that. Uh, I, when I was younger, I used to, um, I used to think that maybe I wanted to be a missionary, you know, I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to go to these exotic places and help people in need. And it was, and, and I, I kind of shied away from it for, because I thought perhaps I was being selfish. I thought maybe, um, maybe that, that desire that I have inside of me to, to adventure and explore and and go to those those far distant places that not a lot of people get to go to. I thought that maybe that was what was primarily driving me to do it. And I thought that's wrong and I shouldn't feel that way. But now I realize that it's not wrong. There's some of us that were born to, to go out and do the things that are dangerous. There's some of us that were born to, to go help people in need and feel good about it. I, 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 um, I thrive on that energy that that, that high that I get from helping somebody that's stuck in the ditch. Um, and I, there's nothing wrong with that at all, I've come to discover. And I, I think that's just part of who I am. And a lot of, a lot of you are going to feel exactly the same way. And because I feel that way and because I have that desire inside of me to help people in need and go to those snow-encrusted um, mountaintops that, that nobody else can get to or is unwilling to get to, um, I think that that is something that I really want to pursue more. And that's why I, I have taken it upon myself to become that minute man, if you will. I want to be ready at a minute's notice to help somebody in need. Um, and to go along with that, it's, it's, it's not just the gear. It's definitely not just the gear. What I have in here will allow me to stay a week. You know, let's say, you know, across the mountain, my grandmother has a tree that fell on her house, you know, and uh, I've got to go over there and stay a week and camp outside and, and help fix whatever it is that needs to be fixed. And, you know, the, the tornado comes through and in Kentucky and you got to go up there and, and help the, uh, help the population out as best as you can. Having the skills is, is so important, more important than having the gear, um, ha being willing to help and having the knowledge and ability to help is super important. But anyway, in, in this pack, I've got um, uh, enough food for a week. 
all in the form of freeze-dried foods, really, really lightweight, easy to prepare. I've got a way to cook it. I've got a stove here and some fuel on the side to cook that fuel, heat up my water. I could always build a fire, obviously, but depending on where you're at, more urban area may not be, may not be possible. Um, I've got a really, um, uh, what do you call it, comprehensive first aid kit here from Refuge Medical that's going to go in here as well, not just, just to help myself out, but to help other people in need. So that's going to be going here right on top of my pack, easy access. Um, I've got a saw to gather firewood if I need it. Um, and then I've got my truck that's got all my tools in it to do all the other type of things that we might talk. Let's actually go look at that. I've got the things on my person, first aid, um, security, um, starting fires, all that stuff. I've got it on me at all times. So I don't have to worry about getting ready. That's the thing. There's no lag time. There's no, no, um, you know, uh, hold on guys. Let me pack up all my stuff and I need to get this and pack that. And six hours later, I'm finally ready to go. And then I've forgotten stuff. Nope. I'm ready to go right now. Um, in the back of my truck, I have tools in this Husky container here that's on wheels and I can move this around, get it out of my truck. I have tools. It's a little bit unorganized at the moment. For the most part, I know where everything is. And in this thing, I, I could build a whole house with the stuff that's in this right now, with the exception of some saw horses and things like that, that I could build with the stuff that's in here. I've got a ladder in the back of my truck. I've got tarps. I've got an ax to clear a road. I can even throw my chainsaw in here. Um, one thing that I am definitely lacking on is mobility. And when you're talking about being the Minuteman, you need to be mobile. You need to be um, able to go from A to B as quickly as possible, whether that be on foot or whether that be in some sort of vehicle. And on foot, I'm pretty confident. I can, I can move. I've, I, I've pushed myself. I work really hard to stay fit enough to be able to climb that mountain faster than anybody I know around here. Um, and I'm not saying that arrogantly i'm just saying that because i i work really hard. i earned it I, I i push myself and i really work hard to be fit enough to do that so you know if you call that arrogance whatever i don't, I don't care but anyway what i am lacking on is mobility as far as a vehicle my little truck here my little two-wheel drive truck is severely lacking if it is icy or snowy or anything like that at all i am pretty much stationary which is not ideal it's i mean i don't care it doesn't matter i could stay home and it's not that big a deal but but if i'm going to try to help other people in inclement weather I, I, it's just not possible really with what i've got going on here so i'm in the market but i don't know if you've seen the used truck market recently but it is outrageous um literally used trucks are going for the same price as new trucks. Um, so I, you know, it's, it's difficult for me to bite the bullet on that one and, and, uh, and invest that much money into a, uh, a new truck, but I'm going to have to do it pretty soon. So I'll probably get in, I'll be getting a four wheel drive something or other. Um, and that will allow me to be more mobile and ready at a moment's notice. Give me a little bit more cargo space. Um, that kind of thing. So that's that's something I'm going to be improving upon in order to make myself uh, a more prepared minute man. So no matter what it is, I want to be ready. I want to be ready for action, and I want to do it with a happy heart. I want to do it with open arms and and um, uh, just be that guy, be that friend, be that neighbor, be that family member that's that's always willing to help and is is capable of helping. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what your favorite color is. I don't care. Um, as long as you leave a comment because it's really, really helpful. And we'll see you on the next one.